Mm. All right, guys. So again, new motor is in, and I have the UPT 1000 CCs in there. These are the new ones, already tuned. Uh, one in Texas over email. He was testing them. Uh, I think there was two. I think they're uh, friends or family. Uh, and then these, I'm putting them on my car. I'm gonna do some really extensive testing uh, for, how do I put this? So we know the injectors work, obviously, but it's testing to see, let's just say like the limits of uh, most fuels. So that way when somebody asks them like, hey, do you think like they could handle this power and this fuel, George can answer right away. So I'm the one that usually gives them all the data. So it's whenever, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I have time, I could do some testing and give George all the data on that. So, you know, it, it helps you guys out too, so he can answer your questions on that. Or, I guess, me too. Jesse over here, this car came in, and uh, just like this, someone was trying to do what? Gallery gasket. Gallery gasket, I guess they couldn't do it or something, so now they probably gotta pay double for us to do it. All right guys, I have this 2010 370Z, has um, colder intakes, I believe they're Takeda, it has test pipe and uh, dual exhaust. The baseline was 270. That's the red one, and you can see some issues going on right there, but obviously there was no tune right there, so that's that can be normal. And uh, my first adjustment is the green line. You can see I fixed all of that. And so it already gained six uh, wheel horsepower peak. And um, there's the torque. The torque was 238. Now it's actually about 248 right now. And I'm, uh, there's actually a lot of changes to do. And let's see how good this motor is. He says he's tired of getting gapped <laughs> uh, with no tune. So he says he wants to go to the roll nights. Let's see what we could do. So of course it's on. Um, so of course it's on stock injectors on 91. All right, the new line is the orange one. We are now at 285. So we gained 15 wheel horsepower so far. And here's a bit clearer view with the green. Uh, a dyno pull removed so you can see the gains all right and this one is done baseline was 270 after the tune is 290 so again 20 wheel horsepower and that's a lot so this one just really really needed to tune very badly and the maximum torque before was 238 now it's 254 again 16.66 torque to the wheels very nice and then see that right there uh, I don't know I took a math so I don't know, 800 wheel horsepower, right here. All right guys, I have this 07 350Z, it's automatic. Came in for high idle. And I think George had already previously diagnosed it for him. And uh, came to the point where we're just gonna reflash the ECU uh, to OEM specs to fix that for him. And I just started right now. So this will take about eight to 15 minutes for this flash again this is not this has nothing to do with tuning this is an oem level uh ecu flashing
2015 BMW M4. It's Jesse O'Connor. Uh, this one has bolt-ons, tuned to 91. And it's actually making 427 to the wheels and the maximum torque is 495 torque to the wheels. I don't know how much boost, uh, don't know what was used to tune it, but we're just seeing how much it makes. What's up guys, I have this 2011 G37 Coupe 6 speed, my driver. Uh, I think this guy bought it at an auction, got it tuned by somebody somewhere, I think uh, Lancaster, Palmdale, something like that, up the hill. And uh, you can see this is full throttle at higher RPM. And look at the air fuel is running 14, so very, very dangerous. He brought it here because it's boggy now and there's no power. He says it goes into limp mode and uh, it idles high sometimes, which is doing right now. So I'm gonna see what I can do for him. Here we are doing a street tune that I don't normally do, but this guy was uh, kind of really wanted me to do it, the tune, and I was about to leave. But he looked pretty sad that he spent. He said he spent a lot of money in, in this car just for it to not run after getting it tuned by somebody else. But we're almost done, and it runs way better. All right, guys, I have this 08 G37 coupe. It's a six-speed. Uh, it's currently tuned by somebody else out of state. Um, I think they flew down here. I don't think it was through email. So they flew down here on the dyno day. They tuned it, but he's having problems on a cold start. Yeah, well. <laughs> and uh, so he brought it in for diagnostics. This guy comes here for everything. So, you know, he's been tuned by this other person from out of state. Like I always say, that's not a problem. He's been here for a lot of stuff like gallery gaskets, spark plugs, you know, regular maintenance. Um, he even told me that. So he like reminded me. All right guys, so what happens is on a cold start, when you turn it on, uh, it gets stuck around 2000 for a little bit. Also, even cold or warm, if you rev it, the RPM hangs around 2000. So once you let off the gas, it literally hangs there for about two to three seconds, which is very annoying. So if there was no tune, then then it would only be for George to look at, uh, which obviously could be some sensors or something uh, that needs to be diagnosed. So you can see what the problem is. Since it has a tune, it makes the process longer. So. George has to look at it first and then if he says everything seems or looks okay then I have to look at it and uh, we have to contact the owner of the car and tell him hey you know so do you want Saul to go in and try to tune it to see if it's the tune which most likely on this one it is because I've retuned uh, this person's tunes for that same issue before so uh, in this case, I actually talked to him in person yesterday and he was explaining everything to me. So he said it was fine if George can't find anything to move on to me tuning it because once I tune it, he's gonna lose the uh, other person's tune. So whether it fixes it or not, he's gonna lose it unless he asks his tuner, his, the other tuner for the file, which I could put back on there and that'll be it so that's all uh, up to the tuner we do not have to send you the file so in in their defense and any tuner's defense if you ask them for the file they don't have to give it to you at all you, you're not paying for the file you're paying for them to tune your car like what's on the ecu right now so if you ask for it later they absolutely do not have to send it to you uh, maybe uh, if you pay again or something or you you pay half or a portion of it It's literally totally up to the tuner They absolutely do not have to send you the file. It is not your property. You're not paying for the file You're paying for the service to get your car tuned The ECU tuned at that moment. So if you go somewhere else then for example you come here and for some reason you want the file back from the other tuner uh because then you could be like, oh, so, so I will fix it. It's just a tune, but I want your specific maps. 
So he might not send you the file because you went somewhere else. So it's totally up to them. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But once I tune them, you don't go anywhere else. Do you stay with my tune? So everyone's always happy. So this one, I don't know what's up with this. Um, I have an idea why, but if I just press the start button, it turns on right away, which is not supposed to because it's a manual transmission car. I'm gonna go ahead and rev it. So you see that? Uh, I'm gonna turn it off. I was not holding the throttle on that. So that's the issue he's talking about and then he'll get a code uh, for a cold start. So if you guys have a tune and you get a code, a code for a cold start, assuming nothing else is wrong somewhere else, because it could have nothing to do with the tune, but again, if it is tuned and you have that code, uh, it needs to be tuned properly. And I've seen this before many times and I always take care of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on it and I'm gonna start it, start it again. So this is a cold start. So by the time I upload the file, you know, obviously you saw I only had the car on for a couple seconds. So it's still gonna be a cold start. And you're gonna see the difference when I rev it to 2000, how it's not gonna get stuck there. All right, so I just flashed my file and you can see the coolant is at 25 Celsius. So this is a cold start. cam cam 370z to tune this gray one and that white one right there so they're just waiting for me and i just tuned this one right here from the guy the tuner that flew in from their state to um tune the car and that, so this one's fixed on the cold start the rev hang and uh it's tuned already i told him he's gonna pick it up tomorrow he sounds very excited and you did tell me you watched my videos and you wanted your, your car on my video but there it is. Can't wait for you to test drive it. All right, guys. So this is the other cam car. I don't know if I, I don't, actually I didn't record when I was tuning the uh, other one. It left, it wasn't my story. It was parked right here in the middle. That one was the 288 cams. This is also 288. This is a 2019. It is on up rev, so I have to wait 15 minutes each flash. So this one was also already tuned by me. So was the other one. So they're both retunes, both on E85. So uh -huh. those were uh, my two, actually I had three little project cars for the week. And then that silver one is also ready for me to tune. That one just has the stock cams, that 370Z, the silver one. Uh, I did some, I think did some maintenance or the clutch or something, and then he has an appointment with me, so I need to tune that one. I need to tune that one as well. And I know I haven't been putting videos up, but I'm just been very busy and don't really have the time for it. I know I saw some comments on there. I had some people message me on IG as well that you know they'll they'll do the videos for me, but uh, I just do things my way, so. Maybe, yeah, the uh, person who would make it would probably learn my way, but I don't know. I'm very picky with certain things, so you know, I just don't want to send over a bunch of videos. You know, I have to, like, put it on a drive or something, and the videos are very big files, so it's, it's, it's more time-consuming. I'd rather just do it myself. All right, but one thing, it's like... Man, why does your car smell like McDonald's? It's a 2019, and I know it has nothing to do with the shop here because none of the cars ever smelled like McDonald's throughout the years when it stays here for cam jobs. It's like, yours smells like McDonald's. I don't know, you dropped some fries in there or something, or a burger. I mean, maybe you left it for me for a tip or something, but I, I actually don't like when cars smell like food. So I, I never have any food in the GTR, obviously, uh, when I got the G37, I didn't either. You know, after a while, yeah, I don't really care anymore. But I just don't like the smell of it inside the car, especially after a while. So even if I were to get food in it, I'll have the windows down. But man, some of you guys' car just smells like freaking hot dogs or ketchup and mustard.
so this one's all done and we do have 336 wheel horsepower 266 torque to the wheels again if you're just joining my channel <laughs> uh that's actually where it should be with cams it's actually so yeah so 336 wheel horsepower so if you're just joining my channel again because i have like little subscribers here and there that are new maybe like one a week <laughs> but um yeah that's where it should be on our dyno with the 288 cams so i don't know that's probably like five million horsepower on another dyno but again every dyno reads different and this is where it should be so that means the motor is in good condition so if it blows up it's on him we are really really good it revs up pretty fast as well so, uh, which is part of the tuning and you can just hear it during the dyno pull and then you'll hear like the dyno do its job and try to maintain the same amount of load but yeah so that's it for this one and then i'll see if i could do that 370 over there that has an appointment for i believe it's uh today saturday i believe it's for this coming friday so i'm not too sure depending how i feel today unless i'm gonna go do something by doing something it's probably go work more work from home work 24 7 so i actually do not have days off so sundays you know i don't monitor dms i don't reply to dms but that doesn't mean i'm not working um the email tunes i might just do like one or two something that i see that needs to be finished and then i'll go back and see if there's any like really old dms or something maybe something i miss and then i will i will tell you you know <laughs> i'll literally tell you like oh my bad like i i didn't see it uh, or i forgot and then i'll reply to you and i'll tell you oh i know it's sunday but i see that i didn't re reply to you and it's already been like a week or something so i, I do try to go back on that uh messages like that and maybe i'll message you on a sunday but if you message me on a sunday that's not a problem the thing is i would probably recommend you don't because that's kind of it's hard to explain but that's when like things get piled up and you get like lost or something in there it's, it's hard to explain but yeah and I, I also get a lot of messages of people asking me like how to tune and things like that and some of you like you want to be my assistant or something like for my assistant like it would be nice but you, I have to teach you everything and it's not tuning wise but are you gonna have to learn some things and then like how are you gonna answer the messages like you're not gonna have access to my account so it's not gonna work out